welcome back guys so another tutorial for you today which is going to be a backflip so before we begin let's warm up make sure you do a few dish rocks like this to activate your core strength mainly your uh, stomach muscles a couple crunches too to help again activate the core before we begin and don't forget to stretch too since we're going to be using our backs a lot stretch your arms out too Now I recommend doing prep jumps just to get used to the jumping motion and lifting your knees high. Also try a few burpees, this will help you activate your muscles in your legs and again a bit of core. After this I recommend this prep, this will get you used to the jumping takeoff, lifting your knees up and get you over the fear of rolling backwards. Another fear breaker that I used was this, it's almost a back handspring but side on. Once you feel comfortable, you can jump dead on like this and land on your knees or hands. When we do the move eventually, we need to jump high and pull our legs to our chest as shown here. People usually grab the front of the knees, but you can grab here at the back. But uh, personally, I think it's best to grab the front here and make this shape when you go to do the flip. Keep a nice, strong and tight form. So here's another tip on gaining extra height is use your calf muscles. Before you jump, get to your tiptoes as shown and then jump. That way you're getting another muscle group involved and it's going to help you get height. As long as you time this jump with throwing your arms up, you're going to reach the maximum peak of your height. So here's everything we've said but in full motion so you can see. First, prime yourself ready. Bend your knees and get ready to throw them arms. Get the height diagonally, activating your calf muscles, pull your knees to your chest. Land, bend your knees again to brace for the impact. So here's the move again in full. Take note, I keep everything locked and tight. One of the main reasons people fail the move is they, they let themselves sag. So remember, you've got to tense all your muscle groups, keep them all strong and activated. And as long as you get over your own head in the flip, you can never really bail this move. You'll always land on your hands or your knees, in which case you just get up and try it again. You gotta do a few few of these flips before you're gonna land them. 